Chopping some trees, chop, chop, chop. Shearing some leaves, shear, shear, shear. Bury some bushes, bush, bush, bush. Mine in the cobble, robble, robble, cobble. There's more cobble where that came from, folks. Uh, another one broke. All right, after a little bit of grinding, I think we are ready to start building on our starter house. We're going to build on top of this mountain here. Um, I'm going to be using spruce logs, of course, spruce planks. Some spruce leaves, spruce fences, some cobblestone, and then some torches as well. Okay, so now obviously this isn't done. This is just the basement layer shape to it. I ran out of logs, so I can't complete the actual first layer, but I'm going to go chop down some more trees, 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 and then I'll be back. Alright, I think I should be good now to finish the second layer of the house. chop down trees for so long oh I actually had to stop playing the game for a little bit to collect myself after that one I need to get myself geared up again and then I'm going to go and chop down even more trees 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 don't forget you're on a floating island, and if you make a wrong move, it's not going to end up good for you. Oh yeah, and I lost all of my cobblestone, so I have to use the wooden pickaxe that we started with to get just a few more pieces for me to get geared up again. Yeah, I'm not going to fall off again. Although we both know that that's not true.
All right, the main structure of the house is now complete. Hooray! I have, um, let me give you a little tour. I've got a little basement area, which I'm thinking of turning into my main storage area slash furnace area, probably. And then up these stairs onto the balcony where we can look out on our world around us. And if we head inside, this is going to be the main room where we're going to put crafting tables and various other things as well as our bed. Oh, and you may notice that I have no actual roof to the house. I just have a ceiling and that's because I am terrible with roofs. Um, I'm going to try out a, maybe a few designs off camera and I'm going to choose the one that looks the best. But if you guys have any input, please let me know down, down in the comments and I'll be sure to try them out. The next step that I want to take in this world is actually to go to the nether. Um, we're only going to be able to use one nether portal at the moment, so we can't fast travel around the world. And that's because we have no way of mining up obsidian. We can get obsidian by using um, lava and water, as you just saw. So I'm going to run back and forth between the two islands to try to get uh, more lava so I can make an obsidian portal. I was just running back um, to the other island with uh, some lava and I thought it was going to be a good time to mention that before we head into the nether, I was going to upgrade to the latest snapshot with the nether update uh, so we can get all the cool new features. Oh my goodness. Um, so we can get all the cool new features in addition to the, the regular nether generation. Just something that I thought I would say. One thing that we're going to have to be mindful of when we upgrade is that our texture pack, I'm going to have to upgrade as well. And uh, we're going to lose some of the connected textures, like this grass has the, the side on it rather than just being a dirt side like this one. And that's because we are running on Optifine, which has not been updated to the latest snapshots yet. All right, I went ahead and updated to Minecraft 1.16, release candidate one snapshot. And um, I did make a backup of this world just in case something goes wrong. Uh, so let's hop right into it and hope everything runs smoothly. All righty. So it looks like everything is okay. The world seems fine. So let's go ahead and jump right into the nether i haven't seen this like at all for myself at least so i'm really excited to see how it all goes let's go Ooh. we even have one of the new biomes right next to us oh and another one over there too i haven't been to the new nether at all so this is all new to me Ooh. I'm gonna get lost quickly if I don't get my bearings. I'm gonna make a just a quick hut around our portal in case um, any ghasts decide they want to blow it up. And it will also be a good place to put any uh, materials like our flint and steel. If it does get um, blown up, we can reignite it or anything like that. Fit that off. Put a little roof on it. And then I did bring some wood so that we're able to make a crafting table so we can have it in the nether in addition to a chest to store various items that we may need such as the uh, flint and steel and we'll also drop in some cobblestone in there and we'll go ahead and finish this tiny house right here just so we have a place to return to um, after we get done exploring. Now, this looks super ugly, but it'll do for now. I mainly just wanted it to have a safe space to go to if everything goes wrong. Because I don't know what anything does. Are these guys mad? They seem to be okay with me. I hear some uh, lava slime up there. Can I mine this? I can. What is this? Basalt. It's a very interesting looking texture. 
Maybe I could use it on our house somewhere. That could be cool. And this is a different block. This is blackstone. Okay. It's a very, very dark block to be able to have. I think I could use this um, definitely in some projects. For bridges, I think it would make a great kind of uh, asphalt look. Um, so it looks like it's like more modern. I love, love these particle effects. This looks so cool. The update changed the nether for sure. I don't want to get knocked off by this guy. That would be a disaster. He does so much damage. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's a giant cube boss fight. I got him. No problem. No problem. Only got hit once. Nice. Can you mine this with a stone pickaxe? You can. That's very interesting. On the overworld, you can't mine gold with a um, stone pickaxe. I wonder why they changed it so you can do it in the nether instead. Oh, I'm not complaining. Free gold. Just as I said that, my pickaxe broke. So... Um, I'm going to go back and grab a couple more pickaxes, and then I want to try to mine a whole bunch of uh, this basalt and blackstone, because I think it'd be very, very good building materials. While this final time lapse of me mining all of this basalt plays, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider hitting the like button. It'll help a great deal. And if you want to see more, uh, consider subscribing. Also, leave some comments down below. I love talking to you and I will reply to as many as I can. All right, I'll let this time lapse send you on out. Take care. Have a good day, fellow humans.